Welcome back to Brief Tech Designs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add window schedules to your drawing. So actually, this is a drawing that I did some time back, just last week, not last week, this week. Started doing it last week. So these are this is actually the openings, the door and window schedules I did. So as you can see, this is actually what you're targeting for the project that you are using. So let's start right away. But before we do so, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so by subscribing and liking the video. So let's start. Remember to actually use the door and the door and window schedules. You will actually need to activate your door markers and stamps so that each and every item is uniquely named. So basically, I usually do mine that I name all the doors which are made of the same material and of the same size of the same name, and I prefer. I think that is actually the best way you can do it. So there's no point of actually having to name the doors differently, yet they are the same, of the same size and of the same material. So we'll actually go right ahead and start with the door schedule. So we'll come to schedules, make sure you're on the project map, then schedules, this one here then open the door schedules here this one right there so actually by default this is how the door schedule looks like but you can actually edit it you will actually edit it like this go to the skin settings then delete the parts you don't need i don't actually need this part so you shall remove it then the from and the tool zone don't need those parts, delete that. Actually don't need the orientation. Actually don't need all these other parts from the orientation to this part. Don't need that, so I'll actually remove them like that. So love those. I like to keep mine as simple as possible. So that is what we have. Then what we're going to do is actually we want to make everything visible just click right there then the other thing you're going to do is change this one from the records by column to records by row then like that then just click right there like that then we're going to change this one I like to call this one the name that is the name I've given my door then this one actually like to call it description this one will actually describe the actually describe the material the door is made of description I think that's the spelling right there then quantity just like that you can actually make it all caps that quantity then the size you can also make this on all caps for uniformity Then what we're actually going to do is actually describe each and every part. So we can actually do something else. We can adjust this one here. Say this one, resize rows to fit content. Click on that. And it's actually going to resize the rows. Like that. I like to reshape this to reduce this one by just double clicking like that 
then actually need something else here we're actually going to resize the rows again these are actually the rows going downwards okay so I can resize that don't know why it's not working you can actually do this for the same reason the same thing yeah and actually do the same here by just double clicking and it shall be like that so we actually describe this one we'll also describe this part this door this is actually a sliding door sliding aluminium glass door made of aluminium yes aluminium and D03 these are actually semi-solid flush doors so I'll actually and then right there semi-solid they are the interior doors so they are actually going to be there like that what you are going to do now at this stage you're going to select that then change the text style to this to times new roman so with that you can actually change the text style for these ones also right there to times new roman like that This part should be fit like that. This part should also fit. Don't know why this part does not actually. Don't want it to go that big. Can actually do something for this part. Just click here, then to extract this part. It's actually going to fix the problem I'm having. Then for the alignment, I usually like these things to be center aligned, so you'll actually click on every part, then align them individually. That center alignment. Like that. Then for this, you can actually click a light on. Let me see. The lighting the whole thing does not work let me see if that one works that has worked for that so we'll actually have to <coughs> align each part to the center individually like that and then this part also align to the center like that so this is actually what you're having so what you're going to do now is to save this part this one here as um, a view so we'll actually come to the top palette here then right click then click on save as view then what you're going to do is just click ok so i'd like to rename this part like everything to be in cups So this is actually my door schedule. And it will be renamed like that. But I want to change the text color for this part. So I'll actually change it here. This black color like that. And actually go to my drawing. I've actually opened the drawing. What I'm going to do now is actually place the opening schedule the door schedule just drag it like that and that is it so what you are going to do is actually resize it I'm going to change the scale from 1 to 1 to 2 to 1 like that 
actually drag it here so we can actually remove this name here by selecting the drawing then change something here name view say custom then don't name it then can actually remove these parts also <coughs> just like that those ones have disappeared so actually you are going to do the same for the window but i'm actually going to leave you guys at that point so make sure you actually like and follow because the procedure is just the same so thank you for watching and remember to share the video